like a lot of things, Necrochasm has returned with Age of Triumph along with the quest line that came with it. This time around though, it's a little bit easier to do. To start the Necrochasm quest, you need to get a Husk of the Pit. From what I've been able to tell, most Husks of the Pit are dropping from Ogres specifically. Patrol, Story Mission, Strike, Nightfall, any one of those with an Ogre in them, that is where you will have a chance for the Husk to drop. I got mine from running the Shrine of Oryx story mission. There's an ogre towards the end of the story mission where you can then kill the ogre and then jump off the side if you don't get it. It'll appear as a white engram drop. There are three different husks of the pit that you can get. One requires wizard kills, one knight kills, and one thrall kills. If you get the one that requires wizard kills, I'd honestly just try to get a different husk because wizards are very annoying to find, but the world's grave is a good story mission to run. It has a bunch of wizards in it. Same with knights, it has a lot of knights in it as well. Siege of the Warmind is also a good one for knights and thrall, but thrall you can obviously find anywhere. When you finish leveling your husk, it'll transform into Eidolon ally, and depending on which enemy you had to kill, you'll have a perk on the Eidolon ally related to that enemy type. Unfortunately, that perk will not transfer over to Necrochasm. Anyway, when you do get Eidolon Ally, you'll be sent to the speaker who will give you 25 motes of light. Use these to level up the weapon, it levels very quickly. You'll then go to Eris, who will tell you to run Crota's End on 390 light and run Will of Crota, aka Omnigol. You can run Will of Crota on any difficulty. You do not need to use Eidolon Ally in any of these if you don't want to, doesn't matter. When that's all done, head back to Eris and you will have Necrochasm. In the Age of Triumph patch, the main perk was buffed to no longer require a headshot kill in order to cause the enemy to explode. Just killing it will make them explode. Holtzman actually told me that shooting grenades in PvP will also trigger the explosion. Found that funny, I'm not sure if that's going to last. But yeah, that's how to get Necrochasm 2.0. We'll talk in detail about the weapon in another video. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time.